Hey, what's going on dudes? My name is TDC and today I am going to be showing you how to install build pack with the AT launcher. So very easy, very straightforward. First things first, you want to open up your web browser, whether it's Firefox, Chrome, does not matter. And we're going to come to Google and we're going to type in AT launcher like so. Once you got that in, we're going to click right here where it says AT launcher home. Now this will take us to the AT launcher home page and once you get to this spot, you want to come to the very top with all these different tabs up here and click downloads. So, come down here and you're going to see all your different operating systems. You got Windows, Mac, Linux, slash other. Now, I don't know anybody that has Linux, but if you do, you get a cool little penguin. So, that's a plus. Uh, but you're going to click right here if you got Windows and you're going to save it to wherever you want to save it to. Whether it's your desktop, your documents, it does not matter. Um, as long as you can get a shortcut to your desktop, you will be fine. So, just click save. All right, since I've already got it installed, I've got it right here on my desktop just to save a little bit of time. But you're going to double click this and it'll open up. And this is where there's going to be a couple different things that need to happen here. Now, if you're this is your first time installing AT Launcher, you're going to need to come down here and it's select a new account. So this is where you're going to put in all your account information to get your Minecraft profile over to the AT Launcher, right? So just do that and then you should be good to go. Now, the next thing you want to do is come over here to this tab on the right hand side and click packs right now you can kind of scroll through and see all the different mod packs that are available with the AT launcher and uh, for each one of these you just click new instance and it will download but for our case since we're trying to install build pack we're gonna come up here to the top left hand side and you're gonna see add pack that's where we're gonna click alright for the pack code since it's not available directly to the public you gotta have a code to get this right so the pack code for this is build pack just like that B U I L D P A K and then we're gonna click save now this is where people are having problems sometimes and it even happened to me too sometimes it'll pop up and it'll say this pack does not exist and you're just gonna click OK and you're gonna wait a little bit you may need to close the AT launcher and then open it back up and then most of the time after maybe like five or ten minutes it will eventually show up so you don't have to keep typing in build pack up there in the top where it says add pack you don't have to click keep clicking up here and typing it in so sooner or later it's gonna show up at the very bottom of the list down here and you'll see build pack so it's created by my buddy Slipgator and Joe Tato um, just click new instance just like that and then you're going to select your version so we're gonna do the 1.0 this is the dev version and uh, this is the one you're gonna want to use the 1.0.0 koa alright now we're gonna click install and once this pops up there's a couple of different ones in here you're gonna need um, Opus is very helpful it gives you a little mini map and uh, if you know anything about like Opus and how to like prevent lag and different things like that if you're running a server Opus is a very useful tool Fastcraft I highly recommend it's going to speed up the loading process of the chunks and things like that if you don't have a very fast computer Fastcraft will help a lot and then better foliage this is kind of an optional mod this adds a bunch of different textures to like the leaves and things like that and kind of makes it really pop and make it look really fancy but if you're running a kind of a lower end PC I suggest uh, not installing this one and then Mr. Crayfish's construction mod I actually haven't messed with this so I don't know what exactly this does but we're gonna click better foliage we're gonna do opus and we'll go ahead and install this we're just gonna click install now it's gonna go through here it's download all the resources and this may take just a little bit so when this is done I'll come back okay so side note right here something I forgot to mention in the first take of this video is sometimes some of the mods you actually have to download for yourself but the AT launcher will redirect you to the mod that you need to download so a little window will pop up and you say you'll need to download this mod and it'll open up your web browser automatically you download the mod and then you'll come back and you say yes I've downloaded this mod and you'll click the button right here in the center so um, with that being said just go ahead and click OK to pretty much everything it says and uh, you should be good to go. Hooray! Just like that, it is installed, man. Build Pack 1.0.0 Co has been installed. Find it in your Instances tab. We're gonna click OK. We're gonna come over here and where it says Instances, we're gonna click right here. And now you can see that we have this mod pack installed. So I've also got Hermitcraft Mod Sauce installed and now Build Pack. So all you wanna do here is just click Play. You can edit the mods, you can do all kinds of different things if you wanna add mods or delete mods. Um, it's up to you. You can even delete this instance if you don't want it anymore. You can reinstall it, rename, whatever the case is. It's all right here. So now we're just going to click play. And now it should load up. 
Alright, so there we go. We now have it installed. Down here in the bottom left, you should see that we have 70 mods loaded, 70 mods active. We are using Forge and the FML, all that kind of stuff. So, once you get to this screen, you are good to go. You can click single player, jump in, create a new world, whatever you want to do. Now, Build Pack is a completely based around creative building. So, Survival almost has no point. You could play Survival if you wanted to. Um, and if you do, let me know because I definitely would be interested in watching that. I think it would be fun. But this is built around creative mode. So we're going to go ahead and create creative. Um, we're going to do world type. Now, there's all kinds of different stuff. This is the one that we are running on the build pack server, Realistic Alpha. And this adds some amazing terrain gen. So I just thought I'd throw that in. But now you should have it installed and ready to go. So that's going to do it for today hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully this helped you get it all installed and running properly so build on man hope you guys enjoy the pack and uh, let me know if you got any questions just leave it in a comment down below hit this like button to get it out there let people know how to install the mod pack itself and uh if you enjoyed subscribe check out some of my other videos man but anyways i'll talk to you next time all right thanks for watching peace